Okay, um, so, hi guys, and welcome to another video. Okay guys, um, welcome back to my channel, and today's video is a life update, and like a, it's time we need a catch up, because the last time I spoke, I don't even know the last time I spoke to you guys, except for the voiceovers. I really don't know. I think it was about December after my first semester of 10th grade. So it's been a long time. And if you guys need a real time study with me, you can just mute this. And it's a real time study with me. So forgive me for all the other noises. Um, Right now, you might be hearing mouse clicks and keyboard types it's because while talking to you guys, I'm editing a blog where um the bl where i'll be showing you guys not only my studying life but also like my life with my books or life updates and sorts anything aside from studying but they'll also be studying here of course um also you might be hearing tv noises um that's just the neighbor um the grandma's currently deaf so her TV is like put on max volume, which my room is just beside hers mainly, so I can hear the constant TV noises. Um, so let's begin. So let's start with my school life. Um, what happened to me? So, um, I've got to say. 10th grade moved by very fast. Um, it was like blink of an eye. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know how, but I have a feeling that 10th grade was e I easier than 9th grade. I think I adjusted. I kind of adjusted to the high school life already. Because ninth grade, um, grades wisely, when you compare my grade ten grades are much better because almost all my grades in grade nine were only like ninety, f like my math and science were like mainly nineties, while the others is like ninety six. And this year, um, my maths were around ninety three, ninety four. My science were like from ninety five to ninety seven. So this is just a major improvement and other grades are like 98 so mainly i'm happy with that and the fact that i didn't have to put that much work into grade 10 then grade 9 i don't know why but i do know that i still need to work harder if i want to get a higher grade but we'll see when we get to 11th grade I'm okay with studying a lot harder because I feel like I'm more laid back in 10th grade which should be okay for me but I'm still scared that if I don't put that much work my grades will constantly slip. Um, yeah, so let me tell you my my finals. Um. I don't know what to say about it. I just finished it a week ago, but um, I still don't know how I feel. I, I just like feel weird now because I normally like revise by this time or like weekdays. It's like I never played games or have any time to do anything other than the fact that I go swimming, but it feels weird that I don't have to study that much right now and you have to study like around two hours per day yeah it's really weird but at the same time i feel more laid back so i'm like getting more sleep i've now gotten like nine to ten hours of sleep oh yeah okay test grades before i get out of the subject um the match one was pretty hard, even though, like, I did past papers, I reviewed again. It was absolutely, like, the worst exam that I've 
done. Um, I don't even know what my grade is going to be there. I am totally terrified of that grade. I might as well get a 60 on it. But I, my predicted grade, if I get a passing grade, is another 94, which I'm happy. But the thing is, I just need to pass it. I just need to get a 75. And that alone is hard. Um, the main lesson that was hard is the limits because from the past papers I've done, I understood it. Well, I've kind of understood it understand it but like most of my test papers fail are like failing marks because of um limits because me and limits never really get along just like me and geometry will never ever get along that's one fact but like the derivatives the first derivative test um i think i've done well there because it's purely it's like just finding the first derivative, second derivative. So it was pretty easy because there wasn't that much application that you can do. Um, I also missed one question worth two points because I ran out of time. Would you look at that? I myself giving tips not to stay in a question too long. But there's me who didn't have time to finish a test. Anyway, at least I answered the most important parts well because I I memorized my answers and asked my teacher so at least the most important part where the grading is most heavy is like mostly correct so that's the only thing I need to know because even though I get a minus two I'm okay as long as I pass I don't want to get one number where that one number was worth 10 points and I at least got that correct because imagine getting that wrong you're absolutely done for it Science, um, sorry, not science, biology. Um, biology went pretty well, even though I felt like there was a trick question. I was glad they answered it correct. Um, the trick question involved translating amino acids because it started with a five prime to three prime. So I was like, is this the translated strand or this is the like the leading strand it just says that this is a template strand so i went with my instincts to start from the three prime and just go backwards and i got it correct because if i didn't that's worth 19 points there were other people who didn't get it correct so i feel really bad because that's what happened to me um during the quiz and i'm happy it happened during the quiz and not my finals but other than that, biology was pretty okay. Um, English, um, I really liked the English final. Um, I don't know why I just like it. Because um, we had to do script writing. Um, the script writing is all about... Um, we have to apply what we learn from script writing and make our own script for climate change. So I pretty much had a lot of ideas, so it was really hard to pick, but I think I did my best there. Um, the only part I hate was the multiple choice questions on the reading paragraph because I had like each number, like I had two two answers and I'm like which one do I pick yeah that's my um struggle right now um what else English oh my Filipino um my Filipino I guessed about 10% of the questions that will come out and I'm happy that I was able to guess what will come out knowing my teachers um testing style but the only part of it was also the multiple choice because there were some words I didn't understand, and like, if you don't understand it, good luck, because that might be the answer. But then I already knew that I'll get like a minus two, because I knew I mixed up two words in vocab, because I checked my dictionary after, which I am so disappointed, because that was my first answer, and I changed it. Um, my 
AP. Um, I liked it except for the fact that my hands were so tired because it was just all essay writing on prompts. I had like five S, no, not five, ten essays. Um, you had to write eight sentences each. You could imagine my hand there. Eight sentences each. Ten questions in one hour. Eight sentences for each number and a prompt. But the prompts were pretty nice. And I would write the whole way out. But my hand would give out. So I had to ask forgiveness to my AP teacher. If he doesn't like my handwriting during the last few numbers. Because they were really bad. Because I am really tired. Um... Um, my CE was okay, the religion part went quite well, except for the modified drawer false. I think I got a question or two wrong, but that's okay because at least it's just a question or two wrong. And am I missing another one? Oh no, that's it. That's all for my um, finals that I did. I can't even remember what I've done. Yeah. Um, what I can say about 10th grade that I wish that I've done more is to join more extracurriculars. Um, I felt that um, swimming alone as a sport um, is not that much of an extracurricular compared to others because my classmates are on sports teams competing um not just sports teams but they're also in like math science clubs so i felt that i'm not doing much in extracurricular and it won't like it will just make me seem to like not to myself and to other people that i am basically just studying and not doing anything with my life but studying and not applying so what i'd wish i'd done more is that i join more clubs or that i spent my time with teachers like helping them since um we get to there's like a teacher assistantship yeah so um for 11th grade i took a placement test for my physics training so more advanced physics i also took one for chemistry um just in case i didn't take the bio one because i already know i won't get in and plus there wasn't enough time so that's it and i oh, i wanted to join the swim team but i i couldn't go for their tryouts on that day because i was no, when was it? Oh, because I was out with the family gathering, so I wasn't able to make it. So it's okay. Um, I'm gonna try again on my twelfth in twelfth grade. I'm gonna try it. But other than that, I also um plan to do join the robotics club in high school, and maybe like finish my coding project since i'm like coding an app it's currently on the process it's very slow because i usually forget about it during school so hopefully in the summer and during school i get to like finish it brush it up and you know put it on the app store and um see what people say so i know um what to improve so yeah i also wish i could have joined the math club but i actually forgot about the date um i didn't read the part of the math club but i also want to join my math club but it's okay you have 12th grade for that um what else in 10th grade um 10th grade um the subjects i'll be taking in 11th grade won't be the same as 10th grade mainly because in 11th grade there's no more honors class so like the honors class stopped until 10th grade so i'll be saying bye bye to biology honors which i'm so happy but like it would be very much different because my 10th grade honors is the same as an 11th 
grade subjects. So basically, we'll be discussing the same lessons over again. So um, I'll try to also put more extracurricular since I'll be repeating most of the su- my math and science subjects. So maybe I could focus on extracurriculars and on my other subjects. Um, what else in 10th grade? Oh, I had my first prom. Let me tell you. The only reason why I joined the prom is because it's the last time I'm going to see so many people. They're going to transfer. Um, but other than that, if they're not going to transfer, I wouldn't have gone. I actually, like... I actually, like, was antisocial. They were, like, disco dancing. People just enjoying themselves on the stage. And I'm like, no, I'm just sitting on the table drinking water and stuff because i'm that person who would rather sit in bed reading a book than partying i guess prom is not ideal for me and i don't think i'll go for my 11th grade prom maybe 12th my senior year because it's also the last time i'll see everyone and i know that even though i don't fit in to the school because there are many more many people who like to be social maybe but i'm gonna really miss their personality and miss them in person um let's see grade 10 grade 10 um my recognition is coming so this is just when they will announce awards and stuff but you know I just want to know what's my batch, like, bat class standing, batch standing, yeah. I just want to know that because I'm, I want to see if I improved. I, I have a chance to improve because before it was, grade 9 was top 25. I want to be in the top 15 because I usually am in the top 15 except when I went to the honors class, it dropped slightly because I've been getting low grades, but I'm okay because I know these things are hard and it will take time. But in the future, I would find lessons easier thanks to the honors class. So um, that's an update. Basically, to sum up in one sentence, grade 10 was fast, fun, and better than ninth grade. So... Let's move on to what's going to happen in 11th grade. I told you that I'll be taking more extracurriculars. I took an advanced a placement exam for my physics training. I'm planning to join the robotics club. I wanted to join the swim team and math club, but I couldn't make it. Um, um, subjects I'll be taking, of course, I'll be having my... Of course, the math and science, but I'll be taking AP Calculus AB. Because they finally um, like allowed us to take AP, AP because like you have to choose a strand. Do you want to take a for ABM strand, which is like business accounting, accounting business management? You have to take AP English language composition. Um, for STEM, which is like science, math, engineering. Um, you have either AP biochem, which is AP biology, and AP chemistry or AP physical. AP Physics and AP Calculus. So I chose AP Fiscal, which means I'll be on the two-year AP. I'll be having AP Calculus AB and AP Physics 1 in grade 11. Grade 12 will be AP Calculus BC and AP Physics 2. But the weird thing is, when we're going to take the AP exam, for grade 11, it's only AP Calculus AB. And then for grade 12, it's only AP Physics 1. And I'm like... I already taken AP Calculus, AB and BC, th- AP Physics 1, Physics 2, and, like, you won't let me take, like, all four of those tests, because, like, um, currently, colleges, I can't just write down that I took those subjects, but didn't test, because they'll be asking, why didn't I have a test? But I don't think it will matter in grade 12, my AP test, because I think it would be too late. So all that matters is my AP Calculus AB and I desperately need a 5 or 4 because colleges that I want to get into, if you get a 4 or 5, um, you get to skip a semester of math, which which I would like. But then I know that my, my data will be changed because I might forget the lessons, but 
it's nice to know that your hard work is gonna pay off. But then, I heard from College Board that their AP exams might be online. So, if they're online, I don't, they said they, AP, when you take an AP exam, they don't require to do, to do like a subject of that in class. You can also do it self-study. So, if my, like, if my school teaches the AP Calculus BC and AP Physics 2, but don't want to test it there, then maybe I can do the online test. I hope, I hope, I'm just hoping I don't know if it's, if they're going through with it or if they're going to put it off till next year. So basically, I have APs for math and science, but then my chemistry and biology will just be normal 11th grade subjects, but I've already had science honors for all three since grade and grade 10, so I don't think it will be that much of a problem. I think, I think it will be much of a review. Um, I'll still be taking English, Filipino. I'm not sure if I'll have social studies or it's philosophy because right now it's the school just gave me a heads up it might be philosophy, but I don't know. I'm okay with both. Um, next, I have my religion, CE, because it's normal since I'm in a Christian private school, so you're really required to take that. Um, Chinese is non-elective, which means you're not forced to. I'm also in a Chinese Christian school, but I really want to take Chinese as an elective because for some reason, after watching Love O2O, oh, I suddenly had the love and passion to learn Chinese and like the summer, like every day, one hour of the Olinga Chinese. And I tell you, I learned more Chinese words in the Olinga for one hour than in my school. But I'm not sure because it. I saw that time it might be in conflict with my math and science class. So I'm not so sure if I can still take it up because I also don't want to... Um, drop the APs since it not anyone can take it you have to get also a placement test and I got a placement test and I actually got in so I'll just be updating you guys soon and I think the elective doesn't last for one whole school year it's just one semester so I don't know if it's in the first or second but if it's in the second I know my time schedule will change for AP my APs so yeah, and I'm not sure, but I heard my school has, like, AP Computer Science, AP Statistics. Um, What else? They're offering that you can take extra APs, but I don't know when will they allow it. It probably might, they said it might be either this year or two years from now. So, I'm not sure, but, you know... I really want to take my AP Computer Science because I want to learn more computer science because all the computer science lessons I've been getting, I already know it since I've been practicing it and applying it. So it's basically an easy, easy one. Um, AP Statistics, I've been hearing from TBH studying that it's an okay class. I really want to take it. But at the same time, I remember her saying she got six APs and doesn't know why she took six APs. And I'm like, I also don't want to over overload myself with APs, but I also want to take APs. So like, I'm not sure if um, I should take planning to take four APs if there is. I'm not sure if it's going to overload because this is my first time taking APs. And I like, I know she said you should grade, like if you have it's your first time, you should only take one. But I only have two years left. If I have four years, okay, I'm going to take one AP. But like, our school's like, you can only get, they only started doing APs um last year. So they only started doing APs last year for 11th grade only because the grade 7 to 10 follows the Philippine education system, which doesn't allow any more APs. So the high, the hardest subjects are honors in math and science. So you can only do it starting grade 11, grade 12. So yeah, that's my problem, but let's not discuss that. And of course, um, other subjects, um, I have to take my PE, of course, sports are required. 
um, I'm having, yeah, music class required um, guidance. Yeah, guidance classes that meet only once a year. Um, I don't know art. I just don't want to see my art teacher again because, you know, I was just checking my art grade and I found out he gave me a 79 as a final grade and I asked why. He said it's because he didn't submit anything. And then I showed him proof that I submitted it and he's like, oh, I forgot. Let's see if I can still finalize it because I think the school closed down the grading website or the school locked it in. I'm like, how is, how is it going to be my fault? Why do I have the stuff? I mean, I already like sent you all the stuff. It's just you who forgot it. So you have to make, you have to do something because it's not just art grades going to suffer for all I care. Let me art grade suffer. I don't care. I don't think the college would care for for the arts grade I get because I'm not taking arts anymore when I get to college but it's my whole weight my whole average my GPA will go down I mean like <sighs> um but luckily he was able to resolve it in time and he said he apologized but like, I swear, if I have to take arts with him next year, I'm going to be so pissed. I'm going to make sure he grades it. Because I swear, if I didn't check it, I would be going home with a 79. My parents won't kill me because they don't care about the arts. But like, my, they all get angry with me for the average. They might complain to the teacher, but it would even be more too late since they already printed off the report card. Yeah, and then I'll be taking health class. Health is basically like bio, bio class on health. It's more like we had more psych, psychological for health class and I really like it. So I hope there's more psychological part or psychological lessons in my health class because I enjoy that. And I really hope my school considers getting AP psychology because I also want to study psychology. But not as a major, just like for fun. And yeah, I think that's all I should tell you for group my 11th grade. Um, I don't know what's gonna happen because most of my friends are leaving. I only have like one or two and they're in different classes. So I'm basically with strangers in my whole, almost all of my classes. I'm with strangers and that means I don't talk. And that means I don't have any more friends that can help me and stuff. That means I have to be more social. Last time I was social was grade 7, just to make friends. Now I'm scared to make friends again because people judge. People judge. I'm too scared to even confront that. Um, Yeah, and the table where we eat lunch will be, I think, quite lonelier. That would be so sad. I'm gonna miss them, but... Thanks to technology, I think we can still do some FaceTime with each other on weekends. And they're starting classes in June. Um, because normal Philippines starts at June, but recently, since they want to follow US, they'll start at August. So there's some schools that retain June. So my classmates are going to start June. Some are also going to start July. So, yeah. So, let me update you guys now on my um, mental health. Um, I am fine right now. Except for the eye bugs, it won't go away even though I keep sleeping for 9 to 10 hours. I think it's always there. And if you have seen my eye bugs, let me tell you this. It looks like my makeup just washed off. Um, during finals, it was a bit unstable since I've been sleeping late, but I know it's only for two days, guys. I can handle two days, seven, six to seven hours sleep, but I can't have a one week. I'm just always happy that my exams are, like, in two days, but, like, I also don't want it because, like, it's, like, three exams per day, and I just, you know, maybe sometimes I'd wish... That they would be doing it like the US where it's like a whole 
two weeks. You know, like what? You know, like what? Like what high school? Like what they do in US? It's like two weeks finals where they just spread it out. But then I know I procrastinate more. But then I also want to have more time studying. Um. Okay, so that my men my mental health is fine. Personally, emotionally, yes. I'm fine. Um, so I'm gonna update you guys what I'm gonna do during summer. So summer has rolled by for quite some time, maybe a week. Um what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna prepare for the SAT because I'm planning to take the SAT subject test next year. Um the, the SAT I'm gonna take this year is the normal SAT. Um I'm doing Duolingo for Chinese one hour every day. Um, I'm doing a the study blog that I'm telling no I said a blog and I'm revamping my Tumblr. I'm also doing some coding and trying to get the app done. Um, what else? I'm also like doing like AP calculus AB lessons. Um, varsity tutors is the app I'm using to help me like get ahead in class so when it so it's like it will stay in my mind because i have to memorize one whole course of ap calculus ab for the ap exam basically one year's worth of knowledge um i don't think it's that bad because ib does two years and i don't even know how you retain knowledge for two years well it's okay i'm okay with ap calculus ab um then what else am i gonna do i'm doing swimming what did i forget to tell you i'm also doing swimming like three times a week i'm finally doing one of my new year's resolution schools three times a week sometimes four but right now the weather is unstable there's like constant lightnings and thunders during the afternoon so sometimes i have to skip um, I don't want to do it in the morning because it's so hot. I might get sunburned and the fact that I can't get up early. Yeah. And other than that, for summer, if you call book marathon reading a something to do during summer, yeah. Because remember those 30, those how many books? 15 books, I think, that I bought. Well, there was another book sale and... <laughs> I bought more books. Total, I have 30 books right now. Uh, I'm trying to not read it every day because I know by two months or by a month, I'm going to finish all of them, which I'll be bored to death. So, yeah. I try to read like, I finish a book every like two or three days because I want, I want to like, Make sure when I'm reading a book, I'm like in my bed, my PJs, comfy. Or if I'm in like a, with like a social situation, I'm just going to bring a book. Yeah. But don't worry. If I read a book, I'll update you guys on Instagram. And I also have my book reads account. Oh no, good reads. Sorry. Good reads account. Um, I made a book club. And basically, this is where... You can like tell your f tell about a book that you just read or your favorite books whatsoever, and this is where you can like meet people and become friends with them with the same interests as you. So this is like interacting with one another, it's like socializing, except you don't see them face to face. But that's all right. As at least we're socializing, we're getting somewhere. So, um, if you want to join my book club, it's Granger Productivity's book club. And just hit Granger Productivity. My profile pic is the same one as my YouTube profile pic. So, don't think it will be that hard for you to find. There's not that much me with the same names. And what else am I doing in the summer? Wait, let me get my list. See? Hmm. What am I doing? 
What am I doing? Oh yeah, I'm also researching on colleges. Um, starting to do like I make a list of all the achievements. Um, more academic related. I don't even have that much non extracurricular awards because me not getting involved with anything. Yeah. Um, I've also like I'm trying to establish a routine where I can get some things done in one day. Like MWF is one routine, and the MWFS Sunday and one routine T T H S Saturday T T H Saturday is where I do another thing. I'm trying to plug in piano to like learn piano using the musician app. And trying to play songs because lots of YouTube, there's like lots of guides. I really want to learn piano. So yeah, I made how to add it one. And I've also constantly been singing because I really love singing. But just that if I do too much singing, I'm going to get addicted. I can sing like up to 10 songs in a span of one hour. So normally, I delete those karaoke apps but i've been trying to practice singing yeah um I s i'm start trying to do like a personal statement so that i won't have to rush when i'm in 12th grade because i know i'll be prepping so much and with all the other extracurriculars i have to do <sighs> yeah can't believe it's only two years two yeah two years to college it feels like i'm just in seventh grade that finished elementary times goes by very fast yeah um i don't know i can tell you like what colleges i'm trying to apply for because i'm just like not sure i mean i made a list of colleges that i find interesting but i still have to again like subtract the number because right now i'm on 20. i don't want to apply for 20 schools believe me for their supplemental essays and for the application fee i mean one college is like 75 bucks application fee and i don't want to waste that much money um the money i'll be using is like the money that i've been saving for so long um I think it was my mom who gave me the idea to save my birthday money for college applications and some part of college tuitions. So basically, it's been in the bank for a long time. It should have grown interest by now. So I hope it, it's like enough for about 10 colleges. So I'm gonna like divide it by two and pick my top 10 that I wanna go to, both local and both international. So, yeah. So, that's my update for the summer part, or what I'm gonna do during the summer. So, um, thank you guys for listening to me rambling and rambling and rambling for like 30 plus minutes. I hope you like enjoy, not my ramblings. I, I can tell they're more like complainings than ramblings. Hope you just like enjoying me doing some revision and stuff. And yeah, um, I hope you also enjoy me talking about my life because I don't have much of these videos because the time that I get inspired to do this is when I'm in the bathroom taking a shower. Yeah. Who new video ideas can come up in the shower? I used to karaoke in the shower. Now I can karaoke and think of video ideas immediately in the shower. So yeah, um, if you guys like it, please give it a big thumbs up and comment down below what are you looking forward to next school year and what grade you will be in. Um, it doesn't matter if you're, in, you can tell like. Oh, I'm going to I'm going to be in fourth year college and stuff. Anyway, just comment down what grade you'll be in and what are you looking forward to next school year. And um, to all of you who are taking your 
exams, whether it's GCSE, A levels, IB. Good luck to you. You guys can do it. Don't stress too much. Don't overthink and just do the best you can and that's it. Okay, um grades don't define who you are. They only they they cannot define your whole self because as Albert Einstein said, if you what's it called? If you test no, if you make a fish climb a tree, it will believe it'll forever be stupid, something along the lines like that. Um, so what this means is that um we are all smart in different ways, not just academically. Um there's sports related, there's linguistics. So the education system right now only measures one side of intelligence. And we're all unique, we're all smart, we're all geniuses as what Albert Einstein said. It's just that we are not smart in everything. There are just like parts. That's why you have like who are visual, visual spatial intelligent, linguistic, because there are people who have that kind of talent. And um, what can else? Um, be careful in the questions. Read the instructions. Don't um, don't take your time though. Don't take your time in one question. Just, um, if you don't know, automatic skip. Please don't hesitate to skip. You can always go back. And if it's multiple choice and it's only worth one point, and you have an essay to do, or like things worth more than one point, you do it. Because for me, if I get wrong in multiple choice, it won't affect my score that bad more than the other free response answers. So yeah, so... Hope you guys like this video and see you in my next video. Bye!